Hi, my name is Matt Harpalani and this is Gage Mercero with Shirt Cycle. And today we're going to discuss selecting the best suit styles and colors to start off with. Your dress speaks volumes in the workplace, especially if you're starting your career. Simply put, you want your dress to be an asset and not a liability. Your key goal is to get into those senior meetings so you really need to look the part. So I quickly learned this the hard way when I started at Deutsche Bank. You know, it's college, they don't really teach you style, it's not a class you take in macroeconomics, but when you hit the desk, you quickly realize it's just as important. And if you think about it, banking is really sales at a high level. You know, whether it's a bake-off or whatever, which is also called a beauty contest, ironically, you know, how you look, it speaks volumes, like Matt said, and you wanna make sure that you're conveying the right things, that you're smart, articulate, and confident. And, you know, whether it's traveling on a road show, you know, listening to management speak, hearing world-class investors ask questions, you know, that's where you're really gonna get that education and learn a lot as an analyst, and you wanna make sure that you're there, and, and obviously you're not gonna be speaking a lot, so sometimes it's your dress that really speaks for you, and you wanna make sure you're sending the right message. Makes sense. So real quick, Matt, let's start with suit style. Sure. What do you recommend? What I would recommend, single-breasted, two-button jackets. Now, if you're six feet or above, you can certainly pull off the three-button jackets. All right, and why single-breasted, two-button? It's honestly a timeless look. It goes well with any body shape or size. So it'll it'll never get out of style like the double breasted mm -hmm. did. So that's why I recommend it. So it's pretty just timeless. Exactly. And then how should it be buttoned maybe when you're walking around sitting down in a meeting? Great question. For a three button jacket, sometimes, always, never. For a two button jacket, always, never. While sitting down, you want all of the jacket buttons opened. And again, you're speaking about the buttons on the jacket. Exactly, not your sleeve buttons, of course. Got it. So. What kind of lapel here would you recommend? So there's two different types of lapels. There's a notch and the peak lapel. I'm currently wearing a notch, is, is, which is what I would recommend for the office. The reason why that is, it's a little bit more conservative as opposed to the peak lapel, which is a little bit more for social events. You'll see the peak lapel more often on tuxedos and not necessarily for office wear. Got it, and then what about the width? So now the width, you can really have a number of answers on how wide of a width lapel you should have you should wear, excuse me. I always recommend the three inch wide lapels. If you're a slimmer guy and you like the skinnier ties, you can go with two and three quarters or two and a half. What are you wearing now? I'm currently wearing a three inch wide lapel. Okay. It's right down the middle. It's, I would say it's like the Switzerland of lapels. <laughs> so would you say that, um, I guess speaking of, of people or whatever, so it, you know, if you're wearing a super slim suit, like maybe a Japanese guy, would you wear a slimmer lapel then? Exactly. Okay. So the, the tighter Christian Dior type of suits, yep. you want to go with a slimmer lapel, then you want to go with a two and a half or two and three quarters Got it. because the tie will be slimmer. And then what about if you're just a really broad shouldered guy? Broad shoulder guy, three inches, three and a quarter works. Three and a half is the traditional old school Brooks Brothers type of suit. So I'd probably do three and a half if you have really, really big shoulders. Got it. And then what about pockets? Now pockets, there's two different types of pockets on suit jackets. There's a slanted, also known as the hacking, and the straight pockets. There's also a top pocket on the right hand side of the jacket, it's called a ticket pocket. I wouldn't recommend the ticket pocket because it could go in and out of style. Right now it's out of style, but if you stick with the slanted or the straight, get them in flat because then you can tuck them in or out and create another look called a besom pocket once they're tucked in. And so the besom is when the pocket's tucked in. Exactly. But you're saying that what you can do is just tuck it in because there's no actual pocket line. Exactly. So get the flap so you can have both looks. Got it. And then the name ticket pocket, what's behind that? Back in the day, the English used to put their tickets, their train tickets, as for the third pocket. Oh, interesting. Okay, so what about jacket color and pattern and that's kind of the next step? Right? Again, when you're starting off with uh, suit jackets, I'd recommend a solid blue or solid gray. Those two are really the key anchor suits. And the reason for that, it goes well with any type of shirt, any type of, in terms of check, solid or stripe, and goes well with pretty much any type of tie as well. And so when you're building your wardrobe, and I mean, are those anchor suits, right? Because they're the most dynamic as far as flexibility with different tie and shirts and- Exactly. Got it. So that would go with, what about, I guess, when you're looking between blue and gray as far as if you're a light-skinned blonde guy versus dark-skinned, does it make a difference? It, not too much, but keep it simple. Go with navy blue or charcoal gray. Got it. Okay. Anything else? No, I think that's it. Thanks for listening, guys.